Don't shoot! Peace, man! Come down here! Global warming, it's the cause of dry climate and bark beetles and death of the trees and forest. Yeah, uh, only ask some questions about uh, Birdemic and uh, your part. Are you film students? I'm just curious. Just, just curious. We, we just, you know, are lovers of this uh, kind of movie. So we're just, yeah. you know, interested in your work. In your oh, my work. pleasure. So how did you get involved? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, mm -hmm. I am an actor. Um, I was in Portland, Oregon at the t visiting my sister and uh, James Wynn, who is the director of Birdemic Shock and Terror. And actually, he's also directing the sequel. Did you know there was a sequel coming out? Yeah. So <laughs> James is direct. He called me uh, out of the blue, and I, I don't think I uh, submitted for the role. I think he just found it on a casting site. And uh -huh. basically called and said, "You, I want you for this part. And uh, I agreed. He sent me the script. I said, okay, I've seen these scripts before. And I memorized it. And we uh, set up a time to meet in the forest. So what convinced you to take uh, this part? What convinced me? Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. Uh, what convinced <laughs> me to take the part? Well, uh, most... Uh, this was in 2000, and, uh, and yeah. I was doing commercial work in San Francisco. I, you know, actually, I do have an answer, now that I, I'm just jogging my memory. I looked this guy up on the Internet, and I said, who the heck is James Wynn? And the first <laughs> thing I noticed was that he directed a movie with Tippi Hedren from The Birds. Uh, mm -hmm. It was called Jack and Jill, I think, or something. No, I, I never saw the film, but uh, she was in it. You know Tippi Hedren, the movie actor? Uh, I mean, yeah. She's in the I Alfred mean, Hitchcock movie, The Birds. And I said, how did this guy get Tippi Hedren in a movie? So after that, <laughs> I just said, I got to meet this guy. And uh, I took the role, and, and I, you know, it, it was an interesting day. It, it didn't take very long, actually. How, how was one with uh, Nguyen? James was interesting. I met him that morning. In half, we filmed Birdemic 1 in Half Moon Bay. Uh, I had just spoken to him over the phone about the script and what kind of wig I should wear. He picked the wig out. <laughs> it was very uncomfortable. Um, and uh, I, uh, the call time was 9 a.m. I think it was in May of 2008. I, I had a map and I, I, I headed out and we met at a 7-Eleven. The, the whole the crew was there. James was almost a one-man show. So he didn't have, <laughs> unlike uh, the second Birdemic, there was just James with the camera directing. Uh, Whitney Moore, who's in the film, she helped out a little bit with the makeup and she helped keep my wig on because it kept falling off. <laughs> he didn't spend more than $10,000 on this movie. I really appreciate that because I've worked with other low budget or, or uh, no pay directors who, you know, they have you sit there all day and then you don't work. This guy got to work. We got it done. He thanked me and I left. And that was it. And uh, what do you think with the first time you saw the, the finished I movie? I was scared you were going to ask me that question. <laughs> I got the DVD uh, a year later. It was uh, I didn't know that. I thought the special effects would be a little more up upgraded, I guess. Uh, it was it was very interesting to watch, and I and I honestly thought this is going to be on my resume. Yeah, uh, then you know, then all of a sudden it was written up in the New York Times a year later, and uh, it was quite interesting that um, I think people really valued his his determination and effort to get this movie out there, and I think people think yeah, it's yeah. extremely funny too. So. <laughs> yeah. You bet on it. Yeah. Uh, does your character worldview fits your own your own, your own worldview? Oh, does oh the worldview of the movie? Yeah, of the tree hugger. Oh, the tree hugger. Well, uh, yeah. let's see. I go. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't. I'm not crazy about camping. So, but the, <laughs> you know, he did have a house out in the forest. You saw the house, right? It, you know, and it had a hot tub and a kitchen and a. <laughs> just kidding. 
Um, I I grew up in in Northern California. We're pretty environmental here, so I do I do understand a lot of the points. Uh, I'm not an extremist, so I mean I'm an actor who played a part, right? So, and I, I think he's quite a funny character in a way. He's a he's a bit he's very passionate about uh, defending the trees and the forest. So, <laughs> are you in the sequel? I am in the sequel. Whoa! Whoa. We'll go just for you. Yeah. So there, there you go. Uh, uh, I don't know much about the sequel. I know about my scene. I'm not so, uh, all I all I can tell you right now. All I really know about the movie is they finished filming it. Uh, I think a month or so ago, and I think they're editing it and putting it together now. But I, that's all I really know. They, I'm kind of in the dark. I just, you know, I was hired to play the tree hugger again. So your part in the sequel? I'm playing the same character basically, uh, Tom Hill, and. Uh, And you remember when when you saw Tom last in the first one? I think there was a mountain lion. I hear a mountain lion. I got to get back to my house. You better get to your car. It was very nice meeting you. And I said, "Nice to have met you." And then I took off. And then I believe that goes on. And then you'll see him in the next one. Back to the first movie. Can can you explain us this great mystery? Why do the eagles leave in the end of the movie? Well, the tree hugger is not there, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just in the forest. They don't bug him because he's in the forest. He's not at the gas station and causing pollution. Uh, what happened after you know the movie, the the big success that this uh, the Birdemic uh, received? I mean, uh, what did it give you? Oh, for me, for me personally, uh, yeah. what happened to me personally? Yeah. Um, as far as the, um, well, let me. I think I understand what you're asking. Well, the movie itself had a publicity, so it was showing everywhere, and then we had the screening in San Francisco. But um, other than that, I was already. You, you want me to tell you more about my acting? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All okay, right. Well, I, I, I am. I, I mostly a. The, I was a theater actor, and then I started working with a commercial agent. So I've done some commercial work, and after Birdemic, uh, the offers didn't come pouring in, because <laughs> well, you have to understand something. I live in San Francisco. It's a very small market. Um, it's a great place to live, but um, uh, so I've done a little bit of, of commercial work, and uh, I'm since uh, I, I shot the the sequel. I'm now uh, actually since then I've joined the uh, the Screen Actors Guild. So I do some I do some uh, a little bit of, of work, and I try to get other commercial work and film work. And I just finished a play actually. I played in a what we call in the United States a screwball comedy. So I did that. So um, we've done. We're good. Okay. We're good. All right. Well, uh, it was a great it was great meeting both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Really. All right. Have a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.